Let's just pin that. Aha, there we are. Hello, Kai. <laughs> we have a big, kind of heavy box, if you couldn't tell by the fact that it's like, whew, on one side. Yes, good morning. Good morning to you too, Kai. Very good morning. <laughs> so, uh, yes, new tale from Aquarius Tales. Aquarius with a Z. There's only one. <laughs> uh, it is very big. Uh, it is Mandarin goby fish crossed with a jellyfish. Uh, and it apparently glows in the dark, which I won't be able to test, but, you know, also my hair, oh, my hair, I have not, not brushed my hair in a long time. Bomb Bomb by Card, oh, yes. I don't remember how that goes, but good song. Anywho. Tiny scissors. Tiny, tiny, tiny scissors. Why do my fingers look so dirty? Like, what the fuck? There's like nothing under my fingernails, and yet, yet, I don't know. Hi, Theo. Anyway, yes, time to uh, stab open. Well, okay, I won't stab it because I don't want to break anything. But I'm going to call it stabbing it open anyway, so I'll probably cut right at that bit because it kind of looks open. So, you know, let's just... Because, you know, I would not want to cut the tail by accident because that would be quite sad and I just stabbed this. There's a dog whining outside this room right now. Don't make it too tough. I better not. But yeah, no, there's a dog whining outside of my room like this. I'm going to show you guys this real quick. Buddy! Run! High five! Yeah, good girl. I'd let you in, but I don't want dog fur all over the tail. So, bye-bye. <laughs> oh, doggos. We love good doggo. I have this sitting on a drawer up against a cup because makeshift tripods. <laughs> anyway, let's continue to uh, stab over the box. Yes, Kai, it's Bonnie. My mum's friend, slash my friend's mum, uh just came around and she had her little purebred Jack Russell and it's so tiny and very loud. It was a very loud dog. Ooh. What's that smell? It smells like something like, it smells like something I know that I can't think of. <laughs> and like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, we'll kind of open along here now. Because I've got, I've got that much open, and you can see something tiny dog. Yes, makeshift tripod. Yeah, I have a tripod, like for an actual camera, not a phone. But when I was in Sydney earlier this year, it fell about a meter down onto rocks, right up against the water. Thankfully, it didn't break my camera too much. There's a little crack and a couple of chips. But the tripod, which I had a tripod that didn't have like the tripod plate bit, so we super glued one from another tripod. That bit broke off. So I'll get it glued back together at some stage. Haven't needed it. So, anyway. Oh, cool. I think I need to rip it now. It smells like something. I can't think of what that smells. Okay, dokes. What is that? It smells like maple syrup. Why does it smell like maple syrup? I am so confused. <laughs> oh, this is a heavy bitch. Oh. Just double check there's nothing else in the box. Nope. Okay. Let's just sit that on the ground. I love the uh, fabric they've covered this in. I will just drag it over. It's like a mermaid fabric. I love that. I actually really love that. Oh, it's a nice little bag right eh? Anyway, uh, ooh, 
those are pretty. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a nice green. Look at me, just. Is it from Canada? Uh, no, it's from California. <laughs> oh, this already looks cool as hell. Let's just move the cover it all. Also, I'm sitting in the storage room, which is why there's a whole heap of shit behind me. It's like our spare room slash storage room, so. <laughs> um, yeah, look how big that water pit is. Oh, it's got a zipper here. That makes it, that makes it easy, eh? Always nice to have a zipper for getting the water thing out, you know, when you want to dry it. Oh, let me just undo that a little more. Yeah, so it's one of their their own monofins. So it just looks like that. And it's got oh it's got nice little straps. Nice little foot pockets, eh? That is a big monofin. Wow. I like the little stars. Look at the little stars. It's bigger than you. I'm just short, man. <laughs> um, okay, I'll quickly put that back in. Just do that <laughs> And Polar and Wendy work in there now. It is very big, and I actually love that because the bigger the monofin, the better. Not for really any reason in particular. Just I just like big monofins. <laughs> oh, I got it in a bunch of stuff. That was not what I wanted to do. This is quite hard to do when the bed moves on you. You know what, I'm gonna leave it out because the bed keeps moving. <laughs> oh, you're fucking filming it. No, I'm just talking to myself, Dwight. Oh, you could be. Everybody in this house does that. Well, yeah, but generally I don't talk to other people if I'm talking to myself. Okay, it looks better if I put it in, so let's, yeah, Lena, let's put it in. It'll just be an extra second. Now I'm dizzy. Okay, guys. Now it's back in. I'll just sit the back up. Okay, we have it back in. On the on the back, it's got like um, it's got, oh, I already got stuff all over it. My bad. Oh, it's glittery too. It's got a little silicone-ish bit right here, which I would I suppose. Oh, that was my brother, my youngest brother. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, it's got this little, like, silicone -ish. Oh, wax! Another dog has arrived. It's got this, like, silicone bit there, which I suppose is, um, like, if you're in a pool and you'd stand up, you don't scuff the fabric and rip it. There's another dog. Hang on. Hello! Hello, you two! Bye bye, Wax. We love that. We love that these dogs are like, I want to come in and I'm going to bark at you. <laughs> secondary dog child. <laughs> yeah, secondary dog child. Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's get this uh, maze of tentacles and stuff unfolded and flattened out. It is very nice. It's darker than my actual Gobi tail that this is kind of like the colours are based on, but I actually kind of like that, so... Because the tentacles are amazingly bright. Like... Oh, they're so bright. Like, look at the blue tentacle. Very pretty. Um, yeah, so... This is... Backwards. <laughs> this is... The top part at the front. And it's got some... You know, like rhinestones on it, which is nice, and some like glittery, glittery paint dots. I need to move it away from the writing on the screen. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's, it's very nice. I really, it's done. It feels very good quality too. Like it feels amazingly good quality, and it's nice and stretchy. You know, in case I get fat, which I will. We have a fat gene in our family. It's, it's about time it hit me. <laughs> um, yeah, it's very nice. The crisp, the, the rhinestones are clear, but on some lights they look like a, a purpley to green sort of iridescent, like really light, almost transparent purple and green iridescent. Um, yeah, um, originally it wasn't going to have rhinestones, but they wanted to kind of, like uh, the maker wanted to kind of like match all the bling on the bottom to the top, 
if you get what I mean. You know, if make it all nice and shiny and sparkly. So we added some rhinestones and some pearl, uh, pearly glitter paint stuff. So yeah, it's very pretty. Like, look at that. The colours look a little darker on the screen because the lighting, I don't know. <laughs> I need to like, that's a little more accurate. If I can get that much light, that's a little more accurate. But yeah, it's very, it's very pretty. And the blending job is amazing. Like, whew, that is blended so well. Like, damn. And these spots are glow in the dark. So y'all are going to see me coming even at night, bro. Like, what's that in the water? Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Right. Um, and so we have a whole different array of tentacle colors so we have purple green pink and blue and the blue the blue ones are a little different fabric to the other ones so you know i'm gonna stand back and go in the dad i'm gonna stand back i can't show you the glow in the dark unfortunately i don't have it's not dark enough <laughs> I, don't, maybe, I don't know maybe later like if, when it's pitch black maybe then i'll be like let's see let's test this out but i'm gonna stand i'm gonna have to stand on the bed but I'm going to stand back and just hold this up because it's easier that way. So, which side's the front again? That side. <laughs> oh, man. I'm standing on a bed. Ooh, look at that, so pretty. The tentacles are so long. I, oh, my God, I can't. Ugh. Oh, I can almost reach the roof here. That's good. Cool. <laughs> But yeah, like, look at all those tentacles. Ooh. So many tentacles. So many. That's going to look so good underwater. Oh. Ooh. That motor fin really is huge, eh? Ooh. Like, just the motor fin alone. Ooh. It's that big. I almost dropped it. But that is amazingly beautiful. Oh my god. Let's come back over here. Oh. That is amazingly pretty. Long voice, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the blanket off the bed and I'm going to lay it out. And then I'll bring the camera over. You know, just kind of... Yeah. Oh, there's a book under here. Oh my god, it's literally the length of the bed. <laughs> There's a dog whining. Let's lay some tentacles out on top. Those tentacles are so long, it's amazing. I love this. Right. Let me just flip the camera. It's literally the length of the bed. <laughs> but, um, yeah. It's a big boy, and it's very pretty. And, yeah, see? Rhinestones. And go to paint. That's um, gems. Are so <laughs> they're annoyed because I'm in a room that they're not in. But, yes, it's very pretty. And, uh, yeah, the monofin slash the, like, whole stalk part has these little uh, glow-in-the-dark spots. So... Everything glows in the dark. And also, the ends of these tentacles also glow in the dark. So, we're going to be a glowy fish. <laughs> glowy jellyfish. More like it, yes. It is amazingly pretty. Like I said, it's such good quality. Uh, you know, it's just, it is very well done. Yes, the rhinestones are gorgeous. I love rhinestones. I used to, this used to be my room at one stage. Uh, we love all the yeah, writing on the wall. One day, one day we attempted to start sanding it off. We didn't get very far. Um, <laughs> I used to have rhinestones up, like right up against the wall where those blue tech marks are. That was all rhinestones. It was a great time. It was a very great time. But yes, it is literally the size of the bed. That, <laughs> that is. A big boy. I guess I do have to do a night photo shoot one day. I'm going to have to, like, stay in a town with a beach and just, like, go to the beach at night and have someone there take photos. Kai, do you want to do that? <laughs> one day. One day. I can't even get to the beach at night, but one day. But, yes, it is 
very pretty very good quality and we have like it kind of bunches around here to kind of create more of that um what's it called like the the cap of the jellyfish so that's that's nice say a noise like an Australian as you do yes you want to do that yes okay yes we have a plan <laughs> but yeah it is just yeah it's just amazingly gorgeous <laughs> Uh, should I try it on? Even though, like, I'm literally wearing my short stack hoodie that is absolutely covered in dog fur. We stand dog fur hoodies. Should I? Should I try it on? Also, I hope <laughs> my neck is so itchy. This is unfair. <laughs> okay, I'll try the towel. Put this back over on my uh, makeshift tripod because you know, stand stand my makeshift tripod, which is a cup fucking mug an ugly old mug that's been sitting in this room for a very long time not sure why ow i hit the wheel with my foot this is a this is a mattress on wheels i'm gonna do it on the edge of the bed Ugh. why did i sound like a kiwi then on the edge of the bed fuck i'm a kiwi we love that stand my non-kiwi kiwiness <laughs> oh man Right, let's get this right down to the monofin. This is obviously, considering this is like one of their, I suppose you call it signature monofins. It's just it's like no one else does this monofin. You know, um, it's obviously <laughs> very new to me. So that's going to be a little, little bit to figure it out. But I'm sure I'll get the hang of it eventually. Where's the foot pocket? So you've got straps for the back of the feet. There's a foot pocket. I've never had a monofin with straps before. That's that's a new experience for me. I hate monofins though because it's always such a tight squeeze regardless of what size monofin I get. I don't even have big feet but it's always just such a squeeze. Hey, I need to you adjust these. Oh god, you can and um, that's going to be, well this is going to be interesting to figure out how to do. Never mind, that was simpler than I expected. I'm just dumb. You like <laughs> Oh man, the Kiwis are practically our cousins over here, I swear. I wonder if any Kiwis will get offended at that. <laughs> Why would you want to be related to an Australian? Oh. I need to adjust it a little more. Legit, this is the first time I've had a Meme Tower monofin with straps. So this is all a learning experience for me. Let's see, is that adjusted enough? We are taking our time <laughs> figuring this out. E. There we go, one foot in. The worst part about any monofin though is once you get one foot in, it's always extremely hard to get the second one in. And I feel like I've taught Kai that from when they tried my fin fun tail one because that one fin you can't adjust e. what tail are you having there um i've got a uh aquarius tails jellyfish tail custom custom tail cost cost me heaps but i've been eyeing it for ages what did you teach me? That monofins are annoying as hell to put on. <laughs> I taught you that monofins suck. But if you have no monofin, then you'll basically just drown. So, I wouldn't say they're all difficult, but like when you're like me and you've never ever had uh, one with straps, it is a, a learning curve. <laughs> oh, there's Velcro. Well, that makes things easier, doesn't it? <laughs> Yeah.
what a learning curve this is. Especially since I can't actually really see what I'm doing. Okay, I think I've got that one enough, but we'll test it and then see if I need to adjust it a little more. <laughs> All I can say is that this will definitely take longer than my fin fun to get on because like my fin fun one I would have on in like two seconds. There we go, second foot in. Let's just do that Velcro back up once I can find the other end. If I can find the other end. There. kind of confused I don't quite understand this whole straps thing your children are sad they're always sad they're a bunch of sadders I'm gonna that's not gonna connect with each other so I'm just gonna leave it like that for now but Jeans probably aren't the best idea to wear under this because they're chunky. Ooh, this is a very unique one. How have I already got dog fur on it? There are no dogs in this room. Dog hair everywhere. Right. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Jeans are not, not the best idea to wear under a tail when you're trying it on. Just saying. Always. <laughs> yeah. I have one, two, two fin fun tails. Yeah. Jumper is also chunky. T shirt also chunky, apparently. Oof. Tentacles. Come out. <laughs> I'm standing on one. This is unfair. No. There we are. I <coughs> Oh, wags. <laughs> there we are. I'm just standing on many <laughs> You can go down there. Oh my god. Hey, wags. Wags. Bonnie. What are you doing? Anywho, we, we, we love this. We have my jumper, like, just hanging over it. We love this. That is upside down. <laughs> But, you know, let's just fall and have a look at this. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, I can't really get any photos at the moment. But, you know, that's really a big monofin. You stand. The bigger, the better. <laughs> Actually, that only goes for some. Sometimes I don't like them like Mahina monofins. I don't. I'm not a fan of the shape of those. Let's just get some of these colorful boys. To hang around. Close enough. Eh. It doesn't want to get off there. It looks heavy. It's actually quite light. It somehow is. There's dog fur on it again. It is somehow heavier to carry. Than it is to actually have on. <laughs> stab some of the modifin. Stab, stab. Right. I'm going to stab you. <laughs> yes, we shall stab with the monofin. The, the zipper might make her a little extra pain. But yes, somehow it's heavier to carry than it is to actually put on. So we love that. It's quite comfortable, actually, and it fits perfectly. I was honestly kind of scared that I'd get my measurements, like, and then because it's been, like, I don't know, four months, 
or something. <laughs> I don't know. You know, I was thinking like, mm, what if it doesn't fit anymore? But no, it fits perfectly. And it's really comfortable. And I remember people were saying shit. I'm going to just start <laughs> one direction on the roof. Uh, I remember people were saying shit about this company because they had a similar name to another company. And then everyone was like, you know, this this company that I bought this tail from, you know, their tails are really bad quality and this, that. And I'm like, putting this on right now? And I'm like, what are you talking about? It's great quality. <laughs> How do you move around it? Okay. Well, if you have what we call a merton, do they do? But I don't. So what I usually do is I put the tail on like right at the water's edge, um, which was quite easy with a fin fun tail, but maybe not with this one. I don't know. <laughs> Always a time to try. But um, yeah, most people have what they call a mertender and they, you know, carry them around and they make sure they don't drown. Whereas I'm by myself and they always like the first rule of floating is don't swim by yourself. That's what I have to do if I want to swim. I have no. <laughs> it is a sad life. Then I'm going to sit back. So yeah. Um, yeah, no. I just put it on at the water's edge because that's all I can do. <laughs> sad. If I was at a pool, you know, I'd sit on the edge of the pool and then just turn around, go in, but uh, they're band tails at the pool here, so we don't talk about that. <laughs> These tentacles are so amazingly long, and I love it. These are going to look so good underwater. Like, look at this purple one. Look how long that is, and that's not even, like, fully out, man. Like, if I, if I just, oh, yeah, boy, <laughs> so long, but yes, it is a really nice tail. Oh my god, I love this. <laughs> that is seriously <laughs> auditions for a mertender. Nah, I live in a tiny area. There is just nobody. One day, one day. Also, I don't like physical contact. So someone was like, "Here, I'll carry you." I'd be like, "Fuck no, get away from me." <laughs> But yes, it is so pretty, and I'm going to have to find a way to uh, get photos done with it, because, you know, I want photos with it now, because it is so fucking gorgeous. Where the hell am I going to sit this? I have no room in my room. It's going to be fun, but yes. These tentacles, though, ugh, come here. I don't understand why I like these ones so much, but like, yes. Also a long boy, because that started all the way up here. And it goes all the way down there. But yes, we need to get photos of this ASAP. What if Sam... Okay, okay, I make exceptions for two people and two people only. Don't judge. If either of the Power Rangers <laughs> were, were my Merton does, it would be a completely different story, let's face it. Just saying. Just saying. Speaking of Sam, though, like, the other night in his fan meet, when I was like, please win a game, because he literally never, he won one game. And in the last fan meet, he won two. Out of a lot. He sucks at games. It's, like, the only thing he's bad at. But, like, I, I went, you know, please win. And he was like, I'm sorry. And then he started singing a Big Bang song. Well, he said one line of a Big Bang song. But I was like, yes, taste. Yes, I will ask Sam. <laughs> I will ask him and I will get no response. Actually, no, I'll ask him in his next Instagram live. That'll be great. He fucking said my name in an Instagram live, and then he didn't save it. I'm mad. <laughs> Simp. Um, excuse me. Uh, I am. Uh, BM. Uh, Kai. Practically everyone I show you. <laughs> Who's the simp here? Also, you just made me think of Jack's after guy going, huh, poor. And uh, that's also a mood. Mm. Not a good mood, but a mood nonetheless. Also, this is literally, oh my god, flip. That was what my tripod setup was. A fucking mug. An ugly mug at that. We stand my tripod. <laughs> also, yes, there's no door. We stand that too. But um, yes. Oh my god, look at all the dog fur on me. Oh my god, I'm a walking dog fur machine. Great. That's my new job title from now on. Walking dog fur machine. But yes, this is a very, very pretty tail. And it's going to look amazing underwater. 
And now I need summer to arrive so I can actually go to a pool. Big sad. I mean, I could go to a pool. I think. No, the pool's not open at the moment, is it? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not keeping on track of whatever the fuck's closed because Victoria fucking sucks. Victoria sucked before COVID. Victoria just sucks, period. Go to Queensland. It's warm. Well, warmer. <laughs> anyway, so yes, this has been my tail unboxing and um, I'm amazingly happy with it. But it's going to be a long time before I get photos. Imagine being allowed to exist. I have no choice in the matter. If I did it, if I had the choice to exist or die, I would pick that second one because life is overrated. <laughs> but ye, yeah. very pretty tail. Oh, there's some blending between black and blue on the monofin. I didn't notice that. Why does it? Hang on, I need to flip the camera. Why does it kind of remind me of a night sky? The waterfalls. Oh yeah, the waterfalls. I would have to find a way to those. But I can't do it via public transport. So I'd have to wait until either I get a license or someone's like, hey, let's go on a road trip. <laughs> and they drive. And I'm like, yeah, okay, let's go visit a waterfall. But yes, that looks like a night sky to me. And I don't know if it's just me, but it looks like a night sky. A teardrop shaped night sky. All it needs is a moon. <laughs> I love it. But yes, I hope you have enjoyed my tail unboxing. Uh, yeah. It's fucking gorgeous. No, it's kind of monofin. Yes. Also, like, if anyone can come up with a name for this, yes, let's name it. <laughs> I would, I can't, I'm not good at names. I'm not naming this. I also haven't named my fucking other one. I should name that. I haven't got any names for that one either. If you guys come up with a name, would I have got forever in my tails? <laughs> right well thank you for watching my unboxing i'm going to go now and then i'm just gonna literally sit in front of the heater eat food watch youtube play some among us sit on twitter sit on facebook sit on instagram basically every other day of my life <laughs> you know boring boring absolutely nothing I need a life. Play Among Us with me. Okay, I will put my tail away and then we will play Among Us. I will grab, I will like get onto Discord and wait for you there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so like if any of you guys can come up with a name for this one, uh, bro. Yes, greatly appreciated. <laughs> Anywho, goodbye. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs>